Okay. Hey, what's no, popping, you two? Jesus Recovery here again, and um, I'm inside the Peace Park Museum stuff. And I'm just gonna show you guys around this whole place, and then, you know, I'll go bit by bit. I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of how this place looks like. So basically, on each wall, it just explains what happened, how it looked like, and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so that was the time that the bomb was dropped, it says. Alright, so I'm done with the first floor, so I'm gonna go move over to the second floor. See what's up there. Sorry if my camera's shaking, cause um it's on an iPhone and I can't keep my camera straight. Alright, so this is the second floor. It's smaller than it was in the first floor. I guess. And on this floor, there's like a lot of models on how the buildings looked like before. And this is, um, whatchamacall, the place where, um, the building that was still standing when the bomb was dropped. It's very famous. And this is just a model on how it looks like. Alright, and... This looks like a hospital, model of a hospital. <clears throat> and <clears throat> many other more models. So, this is the map of the whole Peace Park, I guess. Um, it's real cool, actually. It's real made. And it just explains how, you know, how bad it was the radiation and whatnot. It kind of, you know, matches what's with happening in Japan right now with the nuclear power plant melting down and the radiation thing from the atomic bomb during the war. So, now I'm gonna go to the third floor. Just give you guys a view from above. Pretty cool. I have to say. Alright, so now we're going up to the third floor. Alright, so on the third floor, I guess it's more stuff and stuff. Um, so no, it's just more information and how the nuclear bomb worked and stuff. There's a video on when it exploded. What is this, like the nuclear missile holders of the world? Alright. It does look like it. Wait, let me check. Warheads. So this is the number uh, globe of nuclear warheads, and it looks like Russia is number one, followed by America. Um, yeah, and this is a video of what the sets, the ceremony they have once a year um, to commemorate the people who died during the war from the atomic bomb. and here's many more pictures and as you can see it literally fills up the whole place when everyone comes out
Is that it? Is there another floor? And there's um, a cool machine where you can read from. So it's like an, it has it in so many languages. Really, really cool. There's like English, France, Portuguese, uh, German, Italian, Spanish, Russian. Don't know. Arabic, Hindi, Filipino, Indonesian, Thai, Korean, and Chinese. Is there another floor? And I guess this is about it um, in the Peace Place. There's a little shop, but there's no. There is a lot. Actually, it looks like there's more. So, right here, there's more stuff. I guess these are. What is this? Gifts? Don't know. Got to read, so I don't really know. But um, <coughs> try to look through more. Right here, they have a store. Well, this is interesting. So, right here, it's real cool. It's a old journal from the days. It says journal um, from what? Uh, from 1945. So. That's really cool, and this is a uh, clothes from back in the days, which is also cool. You know, j just a lot of things from the war, I guess. Drawings, clothes, everything. And as you walk down the hallway, You can see more stuff. You can see, you can actually see the peace park. I think, like from that thing I showed you before, that's where all the people sat down and you know prayed for peace and stuff um, every once a year, I think. Sorry, my camera's shaking and not so good, but it's the best I can do. And sorry it's long. If you're not interested in the whole thing, it's okay. You don't have to watch it. Just I'm just trying to say that I'm in Hiroshima. Um, you know. Looking at the stuff. Ooh. 